Oh hey, I didn't see you there. What's going on today guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at my newly acquired Gibson SG Standard. Convert. What can I say? I've never been much of a vintage guitar, classic guitar kind of guy. I like classic rock music. I love it in fact. I grew up on it. But I just never was attracted to the aesthetic of the classic look, the vintage vibe. If you see my other videos, you know that I'm mostly a metal guy. I play the modern hard-edged metal type stuff, you know the Ibanez's, those kind of things, the modern super strats. I don't know, I never picked up an SG, never cared to. I never really cared for the look of it, honestly. Um, you know, that's just my own opinion. I know that some people love it. It's their favorite guitar, it's their favorite look. For me, it just didn't interest me. So I never picked one up, never tried one in a guitar store ever. Yeah, uh, recently acquired this. Actually, it was free, it was given to me. So I had to accept it, right? But I was really interested to check it out and I was really surprised at what I found once I played it. This guitar has a, just an amazing feel, an amazing sound, but we are gonna go over the pros and cons. In my opinion, what I think, you know, what outweighs what. Yeah, so we're gonna take a deep dive into this guitar and see what makes it uh, play so well. You know, maybe you're looking for an SG yourself, and uh, if I can help you make that decision, you know, all the better. Before we go any further, if you like that intro song, please destroy that like button. And make sure you hit the notification bell for my next videos too. They don't come out very often, but when I get to them, I get to them. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a close look into this SG right now. Let's go. You can check out any time you like. Right, so thoughts and observations. Uh, so far, like I said, I love playing this thing. It's extremely comfortable. It's extremely light as well. And if you're not familiar with SGs, here's why. Look how thin that body is, right? It's like super thin. I guess because there's no laminate on top, no top cap, top piece. Uh, this thing is like, I don't know what it weighs, four or five pounds. It's like so light, it's ridiculous. Now, because the body's so light, uh, these guitars, SGs, are notorious for having neck dive headstock dive, which it does, but it's not significant. I mean, if you're holding the guitar, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall over in your hands. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's easy to maneuver and it's perfect. Super comfortable to sit down and play with. Unlike the Les Paul style, which always feels like it wants to slide off your lap this way because of the way the, the leg cutout is or the, whatever the body cutout is on the bottom, it's just too far forward. But this one just sits so comfortably. It's perfect. I can just sit here for like hours. Comfortable. Uh, it sounds great, it plays great. Just do it. The moment I picked this thing up, the action was the first thing I noticed. The neck is nice and comfortable, but the action was just not too high, not too low, and zero fret buzz anywhere. There's no dead notes on this entire neck. I don't know if it came from the factory that way. I don't know if there was fret work done to this previously. Uh, the frets appear to be, and I don't know, maybe you can tell me in the comments, they appear to be stainless steel frets. They probably are, considering it's a Gibson, but who knows? I see no fret wear it's just flawless. The way this thing plays is flawless. And I've never owned uh, another guitar with binding that had the fret nubs as well as the binding. So I guess the fret nubs kind of cap off the end of the frets there. You, you know better than I do about this stuff. I really, I'm new to this whole thing. So yeah, I never cared for this look. I don't know what it was. I just never, it never, I never gravitated toward this, you know, the Batman guitar look. I like the black. I love the color scheme. I love the chrome accents and everything. And, and it looks cool, man. It's grown on me. At this point, I actually really love this thing. But previous to owning this guitar, I had zero interest in ever picking up any Gibson. 
Um, definitely not an SG. I would, I would probably have told you a year ago that this is my least favorite guitar body style out of anything. Again, you know, converted. Now that I've played the thing, what really matters most to me is the way it feels and sounds and plays, you know, the comfort level, the tones I'm getting from it. Very easy to dial in a nice tone with all different amp sims and my real amps as well. high output pickups you know they're kind of a medium to lower output but they're nice humbuckers man whatever's in there just sounds great feels great uh i, I stuck with tens as far as the gauge on the strings 10 to 46 standard tuning uh because this is a shorter scale length you know gibson's are 24 and a half or 24 and three quarter inch scale length as opposed to the fenders 25 and a half so being that it's a little bit shorter length neck um i feel comfortable with the tens although you might have noticed on that hotel california that little solo bit I did. I wasn't hitting the bends quite right because they're a little tough. The strings are a little tight, a little taut with the uh, 10 to 46 and standard tuning, which is weird because my Harley Benton uh, Les Paul, which is the same scale length, also has 10s and those strings for some reason feel too slinky and too slack on the same scale length. So I really can't figure that one out. Exact same brand of strings and everything. Um, but I'm going to stick with the 10s because you know, for the chugs and for the fast picking, the tremolo picking, that kind of stuff, the, the more metal stuff, I want the heavier gauge string. I just feel more confident, you know, with the pick that I'm going to get the note in the right timing and all that stuff with the tighter gauge as opposed to a flabbier, looser gauge. I'll save the bends and stuff for my Strat guitars and all that stuff. But yeah, so uh, detractors, there really aren't many. What can I say? You know, the, I'm nitpicking here too. This is not a big deal. The forward strap button is right in the back there behind the neck as opposed to on most modern guitars where it's up somewhere in the horn or behind the top horn. That's just a little weird for me. I had a strap on here and it always seems like it's twisted one way or the other. I can't seem to get it right. So I don't know. That's just a personal thing, man. It's a personal problem. Uh, also, the, the jack input there on the front body just sticking straight out. I never cared for that look. And most times when you see guys playing this type of a guitar or similar guitars that have that front straight out you know, facing input, they are, they're always using a cable that has the straight end. Use a 90 degree cable end so it goes down, right? So it doesn't stick out and look stupid. That just looks ridiculous to me. But again, <laughs> not a big concern. All my cables that I use have one end that's straight and one end that's 90 degrees so that you can swap it on either end if you want to, either on the amp or the guitar. Makes sense, guys, do that. Four tone knobs, or excuse me, two tone knobs, two volume knobs, and what are these, what are these knobs called? These aren't, are these speed knobs? Are these called top hats? I don't know what the reference is, but these knobs are nice. They work re really well. The pots are really smooth and fluid, uh, as is the pickup selector. Everything just works with this guitar. It stays in tune, extremely stable. Action is great. The weight is perfect. Uh, I don't know what to say. Oh, and that intro song, again, if you like that tune, if you guys like that intro song, the demo, Definitely uh, subscribe. Definitely hit the like button, please, because it really helps out the channel. It shows me that you appreciate what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do here, trying to level it up. But yeah, that song is still a work in progress. Got to mix it, master it, and all that stuff. Got to add a whole bunch of things to it, but it's getting there, right? So that whole song, the rhythm and the leads, was played on this guitar. So this guitar definitely can do modern rock, heavy metal, all the way, um, as you can see from that song. I mean, obviously... You know, yeah, it's a classic rock styled guitar and uh, classic rock is great. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm playing the modern stuff. So this pulled it off. So I was definitely wrong in thinking that I would not enjoy playing uh, an SG. Who knew, right? You never know until you try something new to find out if you're going to like it or not. So, you know, give it a whirl, man. Try something new. Try something different. Who knows? But this guitar, besides the fact that black shows all the dust and constantly dusting it off. Uh, this thing looks awesome. I love it. 
Batman would play this guitar if he played guitar, and he probably does because Batman is awesome. He's only second best to Superman, but what am I talking about? I don't even know. Yeah, so final thoughts. I love it, man. I love this thing. It's beautiful. It's sinister looking. It's, man, it's just too much fun to play. And yeah, at the end of the day, you know, I'm still going to be a super strat guy, an Ibanez guy, modern guitars, Charvels, Jacksons, that kind of thing. That's really my wheelhouse. That's what I'm comfortable with. But I'm getting some great tones out of this. I'm, I've jammed some new stuff. and I had some inspiration to write some new stuff. It's great, man. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. SG, Gibson SG, knocked it out of the park. Oh, by the way, I would mention that this one in particular is uh, 2016. So, you know, guys in the comments, let me know. Was 2016 a good year or a bad year for SGs? I have no idea. But this particular one right here in my hands is awesome. I will never get rid of this thing. I will never part with this. It just plays so well. And uh, I really enjoy playing it. I don't know what else to tell you guys. So... Yeah, if you're in the market for an SG, they're not cheap. I think they start at like, I don't know, what, 12, 1500 bucks, something like that. Whatever. This thing feels light. It feels cheap. But as soon as you plug it in and start playing and feel the fretboard in the neck, you know it's a quality instrument. Yeah, I've been wanting to demo this guitar for you guys for a while now. I've had it for a few weeks and just want to kind of break it in. Well, break it in for me and kind of get used to it and write some new stuff with it. And I've been inspired to write some new stuff. So... Yeah, two thumbs up, Gibson. Uh, this was a great one, man. 2016, if you can get that. 2016 Gibson SG Standard. Yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, hit that like button. Helps the channel out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate you guys. Getting me to 1,000 subscribers. We got a contest going on. As soon as we get to 1,000 subscribers, you are entered if you are subscribed. So make sure that you hit that button. I only do videos once every week or two, so it's not a big deal. I'm not going to blow up your inbox. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya!